Time for Key's Real Rankings, yes. brought to you by Dell. For your small business needs, call a Dell Technologies Advisor today at 877-ASK-DELL. Before we get to the week's rankings, Key, quickly, who's your top five last week? Well, last week it was the Patriots five, the Buccaneers four, the Ravens three, and the Cardinals two, the Chiefs one. Things change. They move around. There's different levels to these things as I continue to always try and educate you guys on it. It depends on what my eyes see week to week and how I feel about the way teams play. I'm almost like the CFP committee. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. It's Let's fluid. go. Number six. Number six of the New England Patriots. I had the Patriots sitting at the five spot last week, but I got six in there this week. I think when you look at the Patriots, they're certainly on a roll. There's no question about it. They're probably the, you know, depending on who you ask, they can either be the best team in the AFC or the second best team in the AFC, but they're certainly moving in the right direction, headed on a collision course, it seems like, to face the Chiefs in the AFC championship game. Number five. The Baltimore Ravens are sitting at number five. I had them at number three a week ago, but I've moved them down based on what I saw. They struggled to get out of there with a W against the Cleveland Browns that were missing players with a hurt quarterback at Baker Mayfield. And on top of that, four interceptions by Lamar Jackson. He cannot continue to play that way and think that they're going to get out of it on the plus side of things. It just doesn't work that way. Number four. Four, I got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bucs are continuing to roll. Tom Brady seems like he's in sync. They should be getting some help on the defensive side of the football in the secondary coming back. Antonio Brown should be coming back at some point in time. Gronkowski continues to get healthy. We saw Leonard Fournette and, and Ronald Jones run the football and do their deal. So I got them sitting at four. Number three. Here's where it gets tricky at. I got the Kansas City Chiefs at three. Even though they had a bye, I put them at three because I feel like they're getting ready to hit a, a nice stride, as you've been saying all along, Max. You cannot count them out. Their defense is starting to play slightly better. Their offense is starting to play a little bit better. They've got to put up some more points to get to the number one spot again. But right now, I got them at three. Number two. Here's where people are going to get mad at me. I got the Arizona Cardinals at two. I got them at two for the simple reason is, when I look at the head-to-head -head matchup with the number one team in the Green Bay Packers, they lose that one. They both beat the Rams. There's no question about it. Arizona beat the Rams solid and sound. I think at full strength, if they played the Green Bay Packers, both teams at full strength, no matter if it's a neutral site, Arizona, Lambeau Field, wherever you want to play the game, I believe the number one team in the Green Bay Packers will beat them who sits at the number one spot for me. Number that is, one. The Green Bay Packers is at one. <laughs> and look, Aaron Rodgers. Okay, they're getting ready to get J J I would just say his last uh -oh. name, Alexander back at <laughs> Jair. <laughs> Jair. I wanted to call him JB Alexander what? because I know somebody. But Alexander back, they'll eventually get uh and not, they don't even need Aaron Jones as far as I'm concerned right now because Dylan is running like the old Corey Dylan of the New England Patriots. Earl Campbell like. That is traveling football. You can move that stuff around and go in any environment and excel. On top of that, you see what Scanton's doing. You see what Cobb is doing. Devontae Adams. But out of anybody, Aaron damn Rodgers. Yeah. It's Aaron damn Rodgers. Hey, uh, I, I, the I, toe. I'm with it. I'm with the rankings. There's, do, you notice, not, do you notice what I noticed, Jay? One thing. Oh, well, I, I don't understand how the Patriots, who demolished the Titans 36 to 13, dropped one. But the Ravens, who still got to win, I hear what you're saying, but look bad because of Lamar Jackson throwing four I picks. I get that one. I get that You one. do? Yeah. How? Yeah, because, I don't have because any, Lamar Jackson just threw four picks, and they're banged up, and they still won. But how do the Pats, to throw four picks do the Pats drop one when they won six straight? And oh, they're on fire. Because there are just other teams added, he puts ahead of them. Added, he likes more. I added one more team. It was five last week. I added one more team. I put them in front of them because the Packers were wasn't in last week, if you remember. Green Bay wasn't. I was okay. mad at them. Okay. So I said, ah, okay, I got to get off being petty. So I shot them all the way to the number one spot from not being in the rankings based on my eyes that they're the best team in the national I, football. I, I, yeah, I don't and have a problem the with that. Of the Chiefs and the this Cardinals is, considered they didn't wait, play. I'm confused with that. Too. Right. Let me let me lay that one out. Okay. So key and, and the Ravens yeah. on top of that, the Ravens dropped. The Ravens were yeah. at the Ravens dropped two spots because a week ago they were at three. <laughs> I'm, I get. I'm with you yeah, all okay. the way there. Right. But I mean, here's the thing. I don't me. like it. But there I were get two it. teams. Rankings, there were two mine. teams that had buys, right? Yeah. The Chiefs mm -hmm. and the Cardinals. Yeah. But they flip now. <laughs> 
Why? Somehow they flip flopped. Yeah. How did that happen? Because when I look at when I look at Arizona and I say to myself, okay, they won two games with Colt McCoy. Mm-hmm. Now, they're a better football team with Kyler Murray in there. So I flip flopped them based on my last viewing of the Kansas City Chiefs prior to the bye. Does that make sense to you? You, in other words, you just considered it a little bit more yeah. and thought, I you know what? I, by the way, I respect that, Jay. In other words, I thought about it more and with more time to think about it, I, my rankings from a couple weeks ago, I like these better. Yeah, couple, I liked I, it. From last right. week. And the Bills last don't week, make it. Just a couple weeks. Last week. Don't right. mean, one, one well, week. last week. <laughs> yeah, but you got to. <laughs> he, but it's, it's an like, honest it's ranking. Like, it's what he's oh, feeling. It's like, oh, it's like the college, honesty. It's like the college football committee, playoff committee. <laughs> I see it with my eyes. Oh, I pay attention you to it. And then I say to myself, because <laughs> yeah, the Tennessee Titans, should they be in there? No, they should not. I okay. Yeah, yeah. But, but the record indicates that they should based on the record. I like where you based have the Ravens. Based on the record, they should be. By the way, I like where you have the Ravens. Nowadays in the AFC, everyone's like, as you said, the Chiefs or maybe the Patriots. Meantime, everyone, the Ravens just won a game where Lamar threw four interceptions. They're all banged up. And they won. Lamar ain't throwing four interceptions again. And That's they won the game before again. that versus Chicago uh, with their backup quarterback. When they get healthy, week, look out. They could win the Super Bowl this next year. Next week, what, they might there? be at the top. Yeah, right. You just never know. You never, by the way, you, they, you they might have a buy and be at the top. In teams like the Raiders, <laughs> the teams like the Raiders aren't even in there. The Buffalo Bills are not in the top six, but that don't mean they're not seven or eight. Just mean they're not six. Yeah, or I, one or two. So you've abandoned, have the Raiders, you've abandoned ship too early on the Bills in my in my. I was just angry. I was very angry. No, you Very can't angry. use that, Jay. Can't, what do you mean? You can't be angry. I'm a fan. I'm a fanatic. I'm allowed he, to do what I want. You just you used that. Are able you to just use whatever that ex- rising you no, want. Be, no, that's not true because I'm not a fan of the teams that I punish. You are a fan of them. So you yes. you got to stay with that them. That means I'm allowed to punish them even harsher because is, I'm a fan. Isn't that interesting? Sometimes you have this, you're, you're harder on the team you root for, of right? Of course. Yeah, because that's, that's, Mina Kaim said it on this just in the other day. It's like an emotional hedge. It's, she called it an emotional hedge. You're like, you, you kind of punish them more just to brace yourself. Well, it's the same reason. In case I they lose, you, 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 you were expecting The it. same reason I don't talk about Duke. And the yesterday I was like, man, we're the best team in the country. Look what happens. That, that's yeah. why I do, you don't say it. Yeah. You well, you, don't anger the sports when you look at yeah. When you look at the, the rankings or you look at the teams in the National Football League, you have to say to yourself, can the Patriots honestly beat the Buccaneers when they're fully healthy? Can the Ravens beat the Buccaneers when they're fully healthy? Can the Bucs beat... The Cardinals, when everybody's fully healthy, what does, you know, you start looking at the matchups. Yeah. What are the strengths of a team? Who's playing the best football of anybody right now? It's the Green Bay Packers. And you could say it's the New England Patriots, but I don't think New England can beat Green Bay in a head-to-head matchup. Speaking of the Packers, um, are they at full strength? Here is Aaron Rodgers on the Pat McAfee Show. As compared this Monday to last Monday, I definitely... Felt better and same with this Tuesday to last Tuesday. So keep getting treatment. You know, we've, uh, we're hoping to avoid surgery, obviously, but the surgery would be such a minor one. It wouldn't be something that I have to miss time with. That's a prereq for any surgery that I have at this point. I'm not going to miss any time. So we'll kind of reassess early next week and make a decision. But it's not something where I could have surgery, you know, on a Monday or Tuesday and play on Sunday. I love him. You know, there's sometimes I hear Aaron Rodgers and I start to roll in my eyes because I'm just like, I can't, I, I can't. Yeah, like the toe's fine. You're going to be all right. I hear what you're saying about potentially surgery, not surgery. But damn, dude, you threw for 400 yards with the hurt toe. Like, just keep doing what you're the doing. The pinky toe, though. It's not the, the pinky big toe. toe. Shot my pinky toe. My pinky yeah, toe. He uh, certainly balled out with a whatever pinky toe hurt, what it hurt toe, whatever the case is. Maybe it didn't affect him at all. Like I said, I'm sure they give they gave him something that may, will make his toe feel better through the course of the game. Yeah, by the way, he to, he's very selective where he follows medical advice. The toe hurts. Can, if you have something for it, okay, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Jeez. If he has surgery, the, believe me, he's going to take some kind of anesthetic on the, the toe. The toe was immunized. Yeah, he, he ain't, oh, going, God, he ain't going to a volcano. I didn't say Joe Buck said it. He Don't run the game. He, he, he ain't going to a volcano and looking for aloe leaves or something. around. Whatever he does, they, then he takes the I, anesthetic. I just love how he talks, though. It's just everything is just so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The tonality. See in and just relax. I'm still in Hawaii, even though I'm in Green Bay. I'm chilling. Toes you know, in the like... camera. <laughs> what do you think the gap is if fully healthy? Like, and I don't mean players who are gone for the year. Yes. But like players, they could get back so that so no other major injuries. 
if fully healthy, you just mentioned, you know, in, in your rankings, some of these teams. What about the Cardinals and Packers? What is the, like, the, the Cardinals have a very good case that since the beginning of the year, they're the best team in football. I mean, they're even, they've, with Kyler Murray, they could, they could make the argument. Yeah, yeah you, you could make the argument. I just think that I can't see as great as Kyler Murray's been when he's on the field and healthy. I can't see that he can match Aaron Rodgers' play quarter for quarter. 